Okay, well, let's let's start with Hylus here, right? We've got this fantastic idea, unbelievable idea. The Philonus is going to tell us that material substance is uh, either absurd or uh, results of skepticism uh, because he's relying upon empiricism. So now we're going to hear from Hylus, and Hylus is going to give us these working definitions of sensation and object, right? Sensation and object. And so how does he define each of these? Uh, so, you know, sensation, Hylus says, is the act of the mind perceiving, right? Is an act of the mind perceiving. Okay. So we can uh, talk about our basic five senses, right? That's a great way to start talking about uh, sensation. All right. The other thing is the object. Right? And the object, according to Hylus, is what is perceived. Right? That's what's perceived. <clears throat> and uh, so what he, uh, so, uh, uh, you know, he gives this example, I think it's a tulip, right? Give an example of a tulip, perceives the colors and everything, and the object is the tulip. That's what's perceived. Okay. So Hylus also states that sensations are in the mind only, right? Sensations are in the mind only. Uh, sensations are not in the object, they're in the mind. Now, uh, Philonous at this point is probably, <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> sure, keep talking. Because Philonous is setting up a bit of a trap for Hylus in this regard. 